Every project has its genesis moment when the first bit of code is put down. This is that moment for Gropy. I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and I had already created this repository within GitHub. So the first step now to uh, start working on this on a Raspberry Pi after you've created a, a, um, a, a repository in GitHub, you go over to a command line from a login. You can see I'm on my Raspberry Pi and I'm in the directory where I'm working on MikeLevinSEO.com website, but I'm going to make a new directory next to it by doing git clone paste return ls cd gropy ls there's the readme file that github created there's really not much in it but if I vim it, I can see, oh, they're using Markdown. I did a video about Markdown. I know how to do this. And uh, system to define <coughs> and process certain automation jobs. That's the description that I provided through GitHub. So I will say this is the first line of code added from my first clone of repository. The project named grow p is hereby born. Right and quit and git add readme git commit message. This is my first local change. Git push. Hop on back to GitHub. Do a refresh. Hey, there is my actual changes to the README as the description that automatically comes up underneath the project. So I can just start uh, editing that to make the introduction to this project, which would be a logical next step. But that is essentially my first tutorial on how to get started with a new project. I know I promised you a Python tutorial, but this just demonstrates the importance of the components of the short stack. You had to sit down, you had to uh, get the repository to be local using Git, and then you had to use a text editor or something like Vim to do some changes to what you just pulled down and then uh, git commit and push to put it back up and that is more important of an education than even before anything having to do with your language choice. Everything I've shown you right now is simply keeping your code safe, completely agnostic of all the issues surrounding what language you're choosing to program in. Well, thanks for joining me and uh, come back for the next video when I do my first line of actual Python code. And uh, please share this video and don't forget to subscribe.